Hi friends, today is my first day working for in SAP and someone tells me that I there is I want to see a PO and how will I see all the PO details okay first of all they say you have to learn some transaction codes and name numbers alphabets by heart so purchase order is not PO or purchase order is ME23N why it's ME23N well let's go to ME23N and I want to know where is where are some of the fields like from the purchase order I want to get information like how will I get the invoices and all those things how will I know it's so many screens so many things are there so many buttons I'm getting confused this is the life of the first day of the person who is using SAP and now how you can using SAP personas how you can improve it let me show you what is a version of SAP personas for the same screen okay and this was done by in less than 30 minutes of work okay uh, so here I go to SAP personas and if I go click on test service and I'll go to the purchase order okay so I'll go to purchase order it will open up so let me see it's pretty simple here is the purchase order screen it opens up in personas and now this is the flavor I just created in a in a matter of 30 minutes okay so here if you see I have already built all these buttons I have built header changes I have built SAP health you want you name it you get it I have also highlighted some tooltip options because in purchase order release strategy is something completely not everyone will understand but purchase order approval level everyone understands so let me show how you can do by simple you just click on this button I am going into invoice details of vendors okay this is one if I click on this header changes it takes me to all the changes that are done for this vendor for this uh, purchase order and if I want to click on SAP health it will take me to the SAP health that is integrated uh, it can be anything that has been and it can be an external SAP health it can be something okay so all these things will work okay now here if you notice we have built this now here at some point of time I want some things that was hidden also that we can hide so you can see a bunch of stuff that is hidden now let me show you here is a small dashboard that we created a dashboard for supply chain using this tutorial what it does is if I click on this I don't need to know all this transaction code in S4 HANA XK03 is gone it's BP now so it takes me to BP I'll just click on this whatever I want I can click on those dashboards and it takes me there if I want a website to show up uh, it will show up so here if I click on SAP help it will take me to the website uh, that will open SAP help for me which is in my case it's micromanagement okay and here if you want to see the PO list if I want to do a goods receipt well MB01 is gone Migo you don't need to train the users means you need to train the users to entering Migo but they don't need to know by heart what are the transaction codes so this is the way this is the outcome you get through this tutorial so I'm pretty sure you're going to enroll into it and you will learn the new thing and this is wonderful and this is this can be used in SAP ECC as well as S4 HANA means everyone will move to S4 HANA but if you are in ECC and you are going to stick there for like two three years you can always implement it and then move all your things into S4 HANA you are one step ahead okay so uh, I hope you will enjoy this course and please enroll into it